Good evening and welcome to the April edition of Crime Call. We're live from studio looking for your help to push forward a number of new investigations. And we have new developments to report on cases previously featured. But first... Tonight on Crime Call, Gordy linked two attacks on women in Dublin to the same man. <laughs> and we reconstruct an aggravated burglary in Drumfin, County Sligo. Late last month, a family home in Drumfin, County Sligo, was targeted by masked men. One woman was at home alone. This is how her ordeal unfolded. On the 31st of March, an aggravated burglary took place at this house in Coolcheen, Drumfin, County Sligo. An Eastern European woman and her seven-year-old son live here with her partner, a local Sligo businessman. Hey. Your lunch is ready? No, uh, we won't have time. Oh, come on. I, I left it too late. How are you, sport? You ready? You looking forward to the game? Yeah. Her partner, an avid Sligo Rover supporter, was taking her son to a match at the showgrounds that evening. Rovers were playing Dundalk. They left the house at about 25 past okay. seven. See you later. See you. Have fun. Bye. <laughs> After they had gone, she took her phone and laptop from the kitchen and switched the lights off as she left the room. At around 9.30, she settled in for the night in the sitting room. She was catching up with friends on the internet with the television on in the background. She heard the dog barking in the hallway. She could see he was barking at the kitchen door. She walked down the hallway towards the kitchen. There she saw a man. He was dressed in black and wearing a ski mask. She ran up the hallway to the front door. The man caught up with her before she could escape. He forced her onto the ground and put his hand over her face, covering her mouth. She was so frightened she asked him not to kill her. He kept her in the hallway for less than a minute. Then he forced her out the front door and brought her around to the side of the house. He shoved her down onto the ground. He stood over her, pushing her head forward so she was looking down at the ground. A second man appeared from the direction of the back door. He was smaller than the first and was carrying a plastic shopping bag in one hand. The two men talked to each other in hushed tones. When she thought that they weren't looking, she took her chance and made a run for it, out the gates of the house. She kept on running up the hill to a neighbour's house. When she got there, she was shouting for help. Confused as to what had happened her, yeah? her neighbours phoned her partner, telling him to get home immediately. Back at the house? Is she all right? When he got back home, the man and a neighbour checked to see if the intruders were still there. But the house was empty. The last place they looked was the man's office. Nothing was out of place, but a large sum of money was missing. They called the guardie. Don't be in here. No. And did you see them? Don't worry. You You're just in shock. 
His partner was traumatized by this raid. He's fine. 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 He